Hey, what's going on everyone? Thanks for tuning back into my channel, The Always Improving Garage. Got an update on the tool cart. This is the US General 5 drawer. Up top here we got extensions. Sockets, we got quarter inch drive, 3 eighths drive. This set here is new. This is the Tecton 6 to 24 millimeter 12 point set. In the back, we got half inch drive Tecton. Nelson recently picked up the Quinn half inch drive low profile set here. Over on the sides of the tool cart, there's got a long screwdriver. We got the 10 millimeter. Essential socket set. On the other side, we got gear wrench, trim tool. Really like that one. Got a breaker bar. We got some long ratchets, half inch drive, three eighths drive, and then some more long screwdrivers. Okay, so that's the top. Really liking how this is turning out. And here we got ratchets, quarter to three eighths, half inch drive. Here we just have commonly used screwdrivers, pliers, cutters. Got some hammers here. And then the wrench drawer. I actually switched from toolbox widget to the Tecton wrench organizers. I was able to fit quite a bit more doing that. Did that on this box and the one I use at work. Craftsman here mostly, and then there's a little mix of Sonix and Tecton up to 26 millimeter. Got the long wrenches here. Icon bit set. There is labels for the Tecton organizers, I just haven't put them on yet. Picked this up recently, I got this one at work too. This is a wrench extender. I got this one because it's the only one I could find that actually has a good handle on it. I like using that one. Then over here, this is also new. I picked up the Icon Stubby wrench set. And then we got the gear wrench. It's just the straight ones, non-reversible. That's the wrench drawer. At the bottom. I actually stopped using the Makita impact driver for automotive work just because it's actually, this might sound funny, but it's actually too powerful. I've broken quite a few bolts with it. So this is the Milwaukee I was using at work. Um, got the newer one for at work and then I brought this one home. Got the SK locking set here for the impact driver. I also got the Milwaukee magnetic the driver right there. That works really good, real strong magnet. I uh, got the Milwaukee 3A stubby. Just added that here. And then just like before, we got the Milwaukee 3A mid torque and DeWalt half inch. And we got the Tecton half inch drive split beam torque wrench there. Okay. And on the top here, I got the conversion tables from Tecton inch to millimeter. I got both styles here. Here's a couple more uh, magnetic trays as well. Okay, that's gonna do it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Thanks for tuning back into my channel, 
the always improving garage. Got an update on the school box. This is the US General 26 by 22. The top we got mostly crescent wrenches. Got the Icon 3 Ace and quarter drive gold plated. Husky thin set. Got the Tecton six point flex heads with some line wrenches and this here is basically just my backup wrenches i don't use these a whole lot i also added these silica gel packs got 80 of them so all my toolboxes have one every drawer now screwdrivers we got the sun x Got this set here for fixing cell phones, things like that, computers. This is your punches, chisels, scrapers, files, pry bars. Pliers. This drawer we got a pass through socket set. We got the straight left and right snips here. Got a precision screwdriver set. Should be every size I could possibly need here. And then there's just some trim tools over here. Measuring and torquing drawer. Got the Tecton 3 8 drive split beam. Recently picked up the Quinn 3 8 drive digital. It also does angles. I did get the half inch drive version too, but it actually doesn't fit in this toolbox, unfortunately. Got the Tecton quarter inch drive clicker torque wrench. Got open up some of these for you guys. Calipers. Drilling and cutting. Also grinding drawer. Drill bits. Carbide. Set here. So I just got a right angle drill adapter, blades, hole saws, and the bottom we just got mostly like the heavier tools. This pair of pliers didn't fit in my pliers drawer. There's too much stuff in there already. Pulley remover installer. Got a fan clutch tool. Spring compressors. Big vice grips, uh, there's ball joint popper tool down there, some really old cheap pry bars, impact driver. All right, that's gonna do it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Thanks for tuning back into my channel, The Always Improving Garage. Got an update on the Husky box. Top drawer is electrical. Recently picked up the Quinn half inch drive digital torque wrench. The only reason it's in this drawer is because it wouldn't fit anywhere else. Got the Radio Shack multimeter. This one goes up to 20 amps. That's really hard to find these days. 
I uh, also recently picked up the Bauer heat gun. This one you can just set down like this and use it. It also has more fan speeds and more adjustability than the last one I had. Got that one at 25% off as well. Here we got stuff for doing brakes. Uh, this set is new. Flaring tool. They say this one can do bubble flares as well. In the past I haven't had good luck with a hand tool that can do bubble flares, but we'll give it a try. I actually plan on doing a separate video just on flaring brake lines, and I'll bring my hydraulic flaring tool from work as well to show that and compare. Even though I'm sure there will be no comparison, I'll do it anyway. And right below that we have also brakes. We got the tool for doing the turn cell rear calipers here. Stuff for doing drum brakes. And some tubing meters here. And then we got hose pliers. This one's good for doing the spring clamps like on radiator hoses. We got a hose pinch off set. And then we got the blue point set here, We're doing clamps. And this is the rebuild kit for that Mayhew. I just haven't put that together yet. And then over here, we just got stuff for taking off oil filters. Various styles here. And then just got a bunch of clamps. This drawer is stuff I just don't use a whole lot. Even though this says teched in, it's actually just some older sockets. I got this set here for making AM lines. Just a bunch of miscellaneous trim tools. Got the SK metric ratcheting uh, six point offset wrenches here. Got the pressure test kit for when you make AM lines to check them. Um, this set here is actually similar to the SK, it's just in standard sizes. Down here we got the test equipment. This is my Ektron scan tool. Cylinder leakage test kit. Got the compression tester here. No light. We got timing light. Spark checker. So inductive coil tester here. Battery tester, uh, trailer light tester, infrared thermometer, uh, Bluetooth battery tester, uh, fuel injector tester. And then this drawer is just kind of a catch all. This is a battery charger for doing multiple batteries at once. Kind of like if you go into a salvage yard and you've seen they just have a bunch of batteries on a bench and charging them. This is basically that. I recently picked up this hub shocker. My boss has one at work. We usually use his. I got a buddy that needs a wheel bearing hub assembly done in his car, so I got this one for at home. And there's just some um, spare speakers in here, just kind of. Is that a catch all? All right. And that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Thanks for tuning back into my channel, The Always Improving Garage. Got an update on the Clark toolbox. Stuff here for batteries and fuses. 
battery terminals, battery terminal cleaner, side terminal tool, just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff there. Miscellaneous bulbs. Just got a couple things for tires here. Wheel studs, valve stems, lug nuts, valve core tool. Fuel line disconnects. That's just some random vacuum caps and vacuum line. Drill bits and picks. Torques. E torques and triple squares. Recently picked up this set here from VIM. These are all low profile quarter inch drive. These can really come in handy. These I just recently picked up from Icon. We got the ball end, long Ellens, standard and metric. And then below it, I got just the regular ends here. It's the Tecton set. Down here we got sockets. This was actually the first toolbox I've ever had, so at one point this is where I kept all my sockets. Now it's more just like 12 point sockets, standard sockets, things I don't really use a whole lot anymore, just kind of overflow. I uh, recently picked up some new sets from Tecton. We got the quarter inch drive 12 point. I got the metric and standard, shallow and deep. So we got good coverage there. Okay, then we got 3 ace drive, Sunex, spare tectons, there's just some really cheap sockets on the back, some random miscellaneous sockets. And then half inch drive, that's where I keep my axle nut sockets. bottom. This is one of the older Tecton metric sets here. These are just random wrenches I've acquired over time. Standard wrenches. Got the USA made craftsman set. And old school Tecton Standard set here. Here we got large standard wrenches, everything above one inch to a two inch. Got most of these at a garage sale for a really good deal, which is good because I don't really use those a whole lot anyway. Uh, this is a metric tap and die set. Back here is my standard tap and die set. We also got things for just thread measuring and extractors. Got a NPT set here. Doing pipe threads. And I recently picked up this Doyle pipe cutter. Works really good. Here we've got some things for building engines. 
piston ring filer, piston ring compressor, spark plug gapper, cylinder hone, plastic gauge, valve lapping tools, etc. And on the bottom we just got a bunch of hammers. All right, that's gonna do it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Thanks for tuning back into my channel, The Always Improving Garage. Got an update on my Icon Toolbox. A lot has changed since the first video that I posted. So in the socket drawer, I used to have my ratchets over here. No longer doing that because it's just not a good use of space. So here we have the quarter inch drive, three eighths drive, and half inch drive back here. The wrench drawer, I only have metric wrenches in it right now. Standard wrenches are in a different box. So you got the Capri thin wrenches, regular combination wrenches. These are the Tecton angle head wrenches, 30 degree on one side, 60 on the other. This one's for bleeding brakes. Got the Icon ratcheting reversible set. Snap-on flank drive. Wrench extender. These are also snap-on flank drive. 21, 22, and 24. Line wrenches here. These are Williams. Gear wrench, ratcheting flex head stubbies, icon stubbies. These are the longer icon ratcheting on one side, fixed end on the other side. And these are the long icon wrenches as well with the flex head, ratcheting and reversible. Screwdrivers, also got Torx drivers, Icon mini screwdriver set, and gear wrench long screwdrivers back here. These are just some of my pliers, got a bunch more in another toolbox. So in the front here, these are kind of like the pliers that have cutters on them. It's, it's got that cell in the front. A ton of vice grips. The painter's tape is just to hold them from opening up. We got some pry bars, air hammer, fan clutch tool, oxygen sensor, wrench set, needle scaler. This drawer has the tap and die set, thread chasers, extractors, etc.
like I said, here's from Echo. And in the bottom drawer, don't have a whole lot in here right now. I've been doing a lot of reorganizing lately. Just got a harmonic balancer puller, some breaker bars, chain strap wrench, I think they call it. Regular strap wrench, all joint press, bearing and race, seal driver set. Puller back there. This set's from VIM. Got the hex sockets, Torx, e Torx. I got Torx Plus, triple squares. So that's Sun X. Bit set. This set here is for lug nuts that are quote unquote half size, like 21.5 millimeters for swollen lug nuts. Uh, this is stuff for removing hoses, hose picks, spring clamps, etc. This tool is for removing the quote unquote Jesus clips. Uh, this is your punches, chisels, scrapers, files. Drawers a mess, but it is what it is. Trim tools. A couple hammers here. Got a bunch more in another toolbox. This drawer is kind of a catch all. Got the fuel line disconnects, serpentine belt. Remover, uh, stretch belts, fuel tank lock ring remover. These are for removing inner tie rods. Got the big one and the smaller one here. It's got a couple tools for brakes in here. Got a bunch more in one of the other toolboxes. This is for the turnstile rear calipers. And I got the hydraulic flaring tool here. Really like that one. This drawer, I really like how this one turned out. This is now my ratchet drawer. And it only has quarter inch drive and three eighths drive ratchets in here because the half inch drive ones just don't all fit. They're just too big. And then below it, just like with the ratchets, these extensions are only quarter inch drive and three eighths drive. Half inch drive is in a different toolbox right now. And this drawer has the built-in power strip. Don't currently have the battery charger in there right now because I've been moving things around recently. So I got my impact driver here. The locking extensions for the impact driver and a couple of the lights in here. Power drawer. These are all Milwaukee fuel brushless. Got the half inch drive mid torque, 
which is actually quite a bit of torque. Three ace drive again, mid torque, also very powerful. Three ace drive stubby, three ace ratchet, and drill. All right, that's gonna do it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, thanks for watching.